16-year-old Romanian girl just leaked screenshots of private DMs with Andrew Tate and what he said might surprise you. Now, this isn't the first time Top G has been caught DMing underage girls, and as far as we can tell, these messages all follow a similar pattern. In my experience, what I find raises intrigue, it inspires them to respond, and also makes it extremely difficult for them to shit test me is, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Some cherries, or an orange, or a strawberry. So, it would make sense that 16-year-old Daria Gusa would receive this DM from Tate while sitting in class. At first, the teenager was confused because her account was both private and only had 200 followers, but after speaking with another girl who Tate had also messaged, she realized exactly what was going on. She said, quote, It was obvious we were high school girls. We both had high schools in our bio and everything. And while some of her classmates replied to messages from Tate, Daria never did. And she goes on to say, quote, I think he was just trying to find girls who are as innocent or naive as possible. Currently, Andrew Tate is in police custody on trafficking allegations, and Twitch streamer Aiden Ross has announced that he plans to visit him while in jail. Recently, though, Aiden had a conversation with Tate's manager, who said, that this might not be possible because of Aiden and Tate's relationship. And from my point of view, he didn't have the possibility to visit Andrew because he is not a relative, so the prosecutor, I think, they didn't admit Andrew. So stick around to the end to hear what he meant by this. In the meantime, the Tate brothers have been in jail now for three weeks, and as the investigation continues, it looks like they're going to be behind bars for at least another 30 days. And while the top G has said he's innocent on multiple occasions, two stories recently surfaced that make him look a little sus. One night, while Tate was out with friends, he punched a woman and broke her jaw. And believe it or not, an old clip shows him admitting to this on a podcast. I'm wrestling with one of the guys. The girl starts trying to hit me. So I'm doing this, I turn and whack, and I smack my spark. So I end up in, in a court for GBH against a female and grievous bodily harm and I broke her jaw and all this stuff. And if this isn't bad enough, a former girlfriend of the Top G has just leaked voice messages of a conversation they had in 2014. Am I a bad person? Because the, the more you didn't like it, the more I enjoyed it. I loved how much you hated it. Turn me on. Now, some people are skeptical of these messages, considering the rise of deepfake technology that can make it look like someone is saying something when they're actually not. On the other hand, many women have actually defended Andrew Tate. This is the best protein bar. Saying that he treats them with respect and dignity and would never harm them in a million years. For example, he actually has a strong relationship with his female boxing coach who says that Tate's a great guy and a strong fighter. But no one loves the top G more than Aiden Ross, who was heartbroken when he learned that he couldn't visit him in jail. But with all this in mind, Tate's lawyer doesn't have the final say. So many fans are left to wonder whether or not Aiden will come to Rome.